alive, bucko, so you might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around because UK CMA literally blocked the entire Activision and Call of Duty deal. And this is so wild that now they're coming out. Every, everybody gather on, okay, gather on. I got a video to show you. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new. The UK CMA has officially blocked the deal, but they're still offering three different options to Xbox and Microsoft. Number one, they're saying that the entire deal is blocked. You cannot access and you cannot get Activision. Number two, you can get Activision, but that will not include Call of Duty. <gasps> A lot of people started shaking, a lot of people are doing helicopters with their release, some of the, the fan base also went into coma because either you want that to go through or you do not want to see this go through and there's also an additional, the third option, okay, and this is where the sauce is truly at because I feel like that this third option that UK CMA has offered to Xbox, I feel like that Microsoft is going to be going this route and they're going to be accepting that. We're going to go through that in the video, drop a thumbs up and let's see what happens. What a messy morning. So. <laughs> It looks like the $69 oh billion dollar Activision Blizzard deal is about to be blocked. I mean, this is Damn. a 99% chance that the conclusion of this is not going to be good for Microsoft. Xbox has been trying to buy Activision Blizzard now for over a year. They've been trying to acquire everything from Call of Duty to Blizzard. One, one if the deal should go through, two if the deal should not go through. Bruh. To obviously World of Warcraft and even weird stuff like the Candy Crush mobile app, this deal was big. This deal was possibly going to be very proud profitable for Microsoft, but now, according to a new legal ruling uh -oh. that just came out a single hour ago, it looks like it is not going to be allowed. Apparently, if they want to buy Activision Blizzard, Activision must sell Call of Duty first. But let's talk about that. What's up, Gabriel? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So here we are over on Windows Central. Uh, obviously, a lot of Xbox Bruh. people right now kind of freaking out because a $69 billion acquisition completely imploding is a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence. There has never True. been a deal this big, really, ever, and the fact that it's going up in flames is kind of freaking crazy. UK True, regulator true. claims the Activision Blizzard deal, the merger, would hurt competition. Now, what you need to know is that this is about basically the CMA. There is a special council of people inside of the UK government that try to make sure that all business is fair. Yo, WUK or LUK? They need to make sure that if you're buying a burger, if you're getting a car, if you're just trying to, in this oh, case, wow. buy a video game, it is always fair for you, the consumer. Well, according to their investigations, they think that it is not a fair deal for Microsoft. It's already such a big oh company God. to buy something like Activision Blizzard, not which fair. is a massive chunk of the gaming industry. Now, basically their conclusions are the fact that this is just something that they feel like is going to completely skew the market for cloud gaming and console gaming. Now, what's crazy about Yo, this- Yo, who cares about cloud gaming though? Like, yeah, yeah, pump the, pump the brakes, pump the brakes for a second. Who cares? Anybody cares about cloud gaming? The CME they went in ganging style. They are saying that they are doing this because they want to protect the, the UK gamers. The UK gamers are more like toxic gamers. Let, let's be let's be real. But y'all believe in this one? Let me know. They proposed a solution to this. They Ow. didn't just say, hey, you can't buy it. They actually said, here are our list of demands. Now, I decided to read through this because, to be honest, this is sort of bonkers, but they're actually saying inside the legal framework here that you have two separate options. If you would like to buy Activision Blizzard, then Activision must sell Call of Duty. That's straight up what they're saying. It's like, if you'd like to buy part of the company that doesn't have Call of Duty, you can do that. So maybe if you want to buy Blizzard, but look at this, they're straight up saying, this is just too powerful. The fact that all of this is associated, everything from Call of Duty to World of Warcraft, among other titles, it's just too big of a segment. The other option is either sell Call Meanwhile, Activision and everybody from those 3000 devs, they are coming out and they are saying that we're gonna give you two remaster maps. We're not gonna- <laughs> We're not ever gonna give you any brand new maps. The entire Call of Duty community has been sent to coma and the UK CMA is like, bro, like Call of Duty is just way too powerful. And I don't blame them. I mean, Call of Duty surely is OP. It sells every single year, regardless of whether you like it or not, okay? It, it sells every single year. It's the best selling franchise every year. The only years it doesn't do that well is when Rockstar Games comes out with their games and they, they never really come out with their games. When are we gonna get GTA 6? 2024, 2025, 2026? I don't even know when we're gonna get that, bruh. Call of Duty, which is option A, or option B, we block the merger. This is Damn. just wild. 
And people have been kind of freaking out. Most of Twitter right now is people just already getting used to the idea that the deal is dead. This is something that is about to go haywire. Something that I've personally been sort of wondering about is what happens when this deal does get blocked. Microsoft is definitely in the buying mood. Microsoft, through their Xbox team, loves to try and buy I can, I can guarantee this. If this deal gets blocked, Microsoft's gonna buy somebody else. And let me tell you this, everybody, gather on, okay? Gather on, gather on, gather on. If this deal gets blocked, Take Two is looking like a snack right now, okay? <laughs> I know some of you are like, not Take Two, okay? Not Take Two. But Activision is like 70 billion. Take Two is more like 20 to 25 billion. If you wanna, if you wanna count that Zynga deal, because uh, Take Two, those mother truckers, they always talk about mobile gaming, Zynga. Zynga was like what? Closer to 10 billion. I, I could be wrong, wrong, but if you wanna combine Zynga into the, with Take Two, it's more like 30 billion, less than 30 billion. So that's like half of Activision. They surely can easily buy that, and you never know. They might. The UK CMA will be like, oh well, Take Two is a small by they really never dropped that that many games uh, you know GTA 6 is not gonna be that big of a deal so you know what uh, go ahead and get that GTA 6 okay but I don't Bruh. but I don't think that GTA 6 will ever be exclusive they can buy take two but GTA 6 will never be exclusive and another factor here is that that, that is quite true though another factor is that they can only buy take two if take two wanna sell they will they're like quite frankly they're not gonna sell themselves they're they're not gonna be able to buy them if they don't want to sell themselves right yep tiny studios big studios a lot of mid-tier stuff uh and i mean that size wise it definitely looks like microsoft has been trying to scoop up as much as possible to put on game pass especially for 2023 so if they suddenly have 69 billion dollars laying Bruh. around i am kind of curious yo can a brother get like one billion or so <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can a brother get 1 billion? I mean, you y'all got 69 billion, okay? Y'all got 69 billion. All I'm asking is 1 billion. Hit me up with a billy so I can hit everybody that smashes that like button on this video with like 100 mil each, okay? Like if you drop a thumbs up, let me hit you over the 100 mil. The reason that the UK government is blocking it is because the proposed acquisition of Activision could result in higher prices, fewer choices, and less innovation for UK gamers. Uh, this toxic gamers! is their specific complaint. Now, you can agree with it, you can disagree with it, but basically what their argument is, is that Wrong. if all of a sudden an Xbox, let's say an Xbox Series S is on the store shelves, it's $300. It's a very cheap console. It's very powerful. It's very beautiful. If all of a sudden Microsoft just owns a big chunk of the entire games industry, so they do own, of course, Call of Duty and World of Warcraft, and they're also having stuff like Gears of War, Forza, and Halo, and they have the cheapest console in town, everybody would buy it. But then after that, once true, they true, have their true. iron fist locked down, they could jack up the price. They could make every single video game $100, make the console $500. Yeah, but, but you're manipulating. It's going to be a monopoly. And, but, but the fact of the matter here Bruh. is that like if they really get this deal right if microsoft really gets the deal so far they're guaranteeing 10 years that call of duty is gonna stay multi-platform after that they can really make it xbox exclusive guys just be logical about it they are why are they saying 10 years why are they not saying permanent and i understand like you you're paying 70 billion dog if i was paying 70 billion for something which i do not have but Bruh. if i was if i if most of you out there that pay 70 dollars for something you make that your own do you actually go around the streets, uh, start doing helicopters and start like throwing free, free, free ticket? Do you do that? Absolutely not, man. Once you buy something, you make that your own, okay? You you do not go around start like spreading it like you were spreading herpes, okay? It doesn't work Bruh. like that, guys. I mean, that seems to be uh, the UK's fears is that this would end up breaking the business because they would just have too much power. It'd be Thanos with his power gauntlet. I mean, what's crazy is they are just straight up saying they're afraid that this is going to restrict access. Man. Like, yeah. Part of the craziness of this is that both Microsoft and Sony uh, and even Activision Blizzard have now been doing press tours, actually talking uh, yep. uh, to yep. the media, talking about why this deal is crazy. They've been doing marketing blitzes to try and show the fact and, that and the funniest thing of them all is that I should have had this uh, segment covered in my news video. So definitely check that video out on the channel. But just to kind of like give you that just a small sneak peek, okay, small sneak peek. Apparently, Bobby Kotick says that Sony will not pick up their phone calls 
and they will not return the phone calls from Activision to Microsoft. Apparently, Bobby Kotick actually said that Bombocat! Sony is not picking up over calls, bro. Sony is not doing that. So that is truly, truly insane. Truly insane. But hey, we have anxieties about this deal. This is absolutely true. Uh, this morning, Activision yep, Blizzard this... CEO Bobby Kotick straight up went on Fox News Business to talk about the fact that, hey, we want to try and make this a smooth transition. We want smooth. to be bought because we want $69 billion, but Sony won't help us make this deal. Sony doesn't want to talk. Sony doesn't want to negotiate. Yo, Bobby Kotick definitely must be sitting back. Would be like, yeah, yeah, I need my... I need my 69 billion, man. I need my, I need my 400 million, man. I need my parachute. I need my golden parachute. Those of you that do not know, Bobby Kotick was behind a lot of those allegations. He wanted one of his employees to be off. He wanted to murder one of his employee. Truly dark stuff. If you have been around the loops, you know what I'm talking about. Because California filed a massive lawsuit against the Activision because some of their employees had cameras installed in the public bathroom. They were capturing Bob's and Vagana. They were also uh, spanking their female employees. They were also stealing baddies' milk out there. Actually, dead ass no cap. Like that happened. Oh shit! Oh, that shit. did happen at Activision. This is why the entirety of California went crazy at Activision. It's still an ongoing situation. And recently they fined them like some 35 million which is chum change for Activision. They're a multi-billion dollar company, but that's like not the point of this video. The point is that once this deal goes through, Bobby Kotick has claimed that he's gonna be leaving Activision and a lot of people want that, a lot of people are like shaking because of that situation, but once he leaves, not that he's gonna be able to sell the company, but he's also gonna be getting like some 400, some million dollars as a bonus, okay? And he's gonna be leaving the company with a golden parachute. And the third option that has been given by the CMA to Activision is actually wild because number one, they said that we're gonna block the entire deal. Number two, you can get Activision, but you you're not gonna get Call of Duty. I don't think they want that. They're primarily buying this so they can get World of Warcraft and Call of Duty. And third of all, they say that you can get Activision, you can get Call of Duty, you can get the entire package of Activision, but you cannot, you can never make Call of Duty exclusive on Xbox and that should be permanent because previously they said that they guaranteed that Call of Duty is not gonna go exclusive, it's gonna be multi-platform for at least 10 years. After that, we're not sure what's gonna happen. They can keep it multi-platform, that's exactly what they're saying. So I feel like that they're gonna be choosing this route because they're gonna be getting the entirety of Activision But they will never be able to make Call of Duty exclusive unless they find like a loophole unless uh, you, you know what I mean There always are loopholes. Sony doesn't want to work out some sort of permanent PlayStation deal this is wild. I mean, straight up, not only has this never happened before, but it's crazy that right now we really don't know what's going to happen. Click on this video on the screen because they're actually removing it or click the video on the left because Dr. Disrespect friend exposed Activision and they do not want you seeing these videos. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.